welcome to VCR Party Live. Welcome to VCR Party. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, my name is Joe. This is Nick. We are the curators of the Found Footage Festival. You're watching VCR Party, the show where we watch all of our videos from our collection. We have, what are we up to? I would say 8,000. It switches every single I don't know. Week. We say 10,000 some weeks, but we, we actually no have, to, we have to put our intern on the counting of these things. But anyway, we are only a third through all these things. We have so much more to watch, and we're going to watch a ton today. It's Puppet Day. It's all puppet videos today. You tuned in on today. a good night. It's it's puppet it's puppet week at it's, the Found Footage Festival. Well, we have one day a week, so yeah, <laughs> yeah it's puppet yeah. week uh, here at uh, VCR Party. So, um, and before we get into the well, this has something to do with puppets, slightly, slightly marionette-y. But um, a couple weeks ago, we showed uh, we showed a clip from um, this Russian movie, which uh, we call Anna Bin Wap. No, that's what it's called. Well, yeah, I mean yeah. that we speak Cyrillic. Uh, we yeah. speak Cyrillic, yeah. Uh, and so Anna Ben Wap uh, set the world on fire. We had a lot of people doing research on it and posting. And it's one of those videos that we've seen the cover a million times. We never popped it in, yeah. and we should have. But there's like a Russian bear with three arms. There's like a Baba Yaga character in here. We didn't know what it was. Um, and we watched part of it, which had like a very like dark crystal-y, like with a crying tree and a very weird... Uh, I don't know. It was hard it, it to was describe. It was actually good. It was it actually was interesting. Good. Was it in English? I can't remember. Uh, no, absolutely not. I think last time it was just whales. It was an Anabin. Yeah, right? yeah, it was an Anabin. Okay. Um, and I, so I've watched a lot of this now, and um, it's fascinating. It yeah. really is. I guess this is called the the lilac ball is what this translates into, and the plot is indescribable uh, in any language. But I thought I'd show another clip here because it involves puppets and marionettes. Is there, is there anything online about it? Has anybody... Yeah, there's a Wikipedia page about it. And, is it a uh, cult movie in Russia, or is it like a mainstream movie in Russia? I had a Russian friend who had heard of this. Oh, really? This, yeah. It's like their Wizard of Oz. I, I don't know. I feel like it's more like their never-ending story, maybe. Okay. Like, it's, it's you know... It's, it's That's still an, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So I thought I'd show you another clip and uh, see if this makes any sense for you. It's the indescribable Anabin Wap. <laughs> I wonder what it's actually called. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> it looks like it's a copy of a copy of a copy. It looks just tilted. Oh, I like it. So, it's a person in a costume, but then that's being controlled by strings, I guess. Oh, he got shot by a laser, and he, is he... Falling asleep or is he dying? Well, bad news. Dying? Yeah. Afraid so. Sorry to start it off the show with kind wow. of a downer, but real wow. Real bummer. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, but in comes this guy. <laughs> in comes this flying swami. Ugh. So That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. That's pretty good effect. And this is all happening in like the Russian countryside, so I don't know how they're doing some of these special effects. But anyway, I'm going to show you. That, that's pretty good. Yeah, all this stuff is from. Oh no, I see the string. No, yeah, no. yeah. It's not that good. But still, who is hoisting that? Yeah. You know, like. Um, mm. All right, I could sit here and watch Anna Ben Wap all night, but uh, someday we will. It's it's Puppet Week, and we just yeah. can't do that. So, but there will be more. I feel like. Bunion surgery one day will run its course, and it maybe... may have. Next week is going to be bunion surgery okay. week, I think. But in the meantime, um, although uh, I have a good Joe's Tedium Corner all ready to go well, for next week, they're not mutually oh, exclusive. Speaking of Joe's, Joe's Tedium Corner, I just realized how popular this show was, or the the segment was after the raffle last week. All those people that won, they all put in like Joe's Tedium Corner is the best. Like they all said it, they all loved it. I'm thinking maybe we call this whole show Joe's Tedium Corner, and at the beginning we do a VCR party segment early right. on. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just going to encourage people not to encourage him at home. So like I think he's gone mad with power already. Look, look. And we uh, want to show you some more of these these. Uh, Raffle. Well, right. If you don't entries. know, we had our big bullshit sweepstakes uh, drawing last week, yeah. and we started off with three or four envelopes. We ended up with hundreds, or yeah. a, about a hundred, and people really went all out for them. So ambitious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. There's some other ones that we missed. Look at that one. There's a kitten sticker on here, and there's a rainbow, and then this one, pastel, and then cupcake stickers, yep. and then uh, 
This I like the one, back of this. This is a, a drawing that I didn't see yeah, the first time around. And then look at that, a VHS explosion. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, not pastel, though. That's why uh, this, this person didn't win. But then look at these. Now, this, this, one, this guy, by the way, he sent these from Canada, and he had to put them all in one envelope, and it got held at the post office here. So these were actually not in the bullshit sweepstakes. I mean, but look at this. I think there's like 13 here. Yeah. This guy should have won all 13. Look at that. A little marquee envelope. It's incredible. Pretty Boy Floyd. Look at that. Look at that one. That's beautiful right yeah. there. Look at that. Look Vocal at that warm ups. That's so good. Yeah. Um, David. We got Bargain Bernie. Bargain he put Bernie here. Um, flower Power. Look at all those Flower yeah. Powers. Oh, speaking of which, we got to follow up with Flower Power. Yeah, we power. do. We do. We called and we never heard back. Yeah. So. Um, instant Adoring Boyfriend. Yep. Um, what else we got? Uh, Rejuvenique. I think this one might be I my... Bet, I bet the scared a, a post... Per, a post oh, I'm, I'm sure of it. Yeah. yeah. I like this one. This is my favorite one. Okay. Mixie. Oh, yeah. Look at that one that with the big heart. Love. They're in love. <laughs> <laughs> and I, oh, oh our, this one's pretty great, yeah. too. One kid's uh, opinion. Yeah. We have to show Mark that. Yeah. Um, also, I think like our seventh place winner, maybe our eighth place winner, he won a... Uh, I, I can't remember. No, he won one of the photos. A photo, yeah. And uh, he was the, a funeral director. And we already sent him the thing. He, and he sent a thank you letter. And he sent us this postcard. And uh, his name's Chris Ronk. And it says Imperial Casket Company on the back. So yeah. it's a casket company. Oh, man. Has I, want, their I want own a postcards. stack of postcards yeah. like this. Um, and then look at this one. Somebody sent us this, first of all. We which opened very the nice. envelope. I think this was third place winner, second place they, winner or they something. They did win, yeah. They I won think. something. They said, all we want to do is win your bullshit sweepstakes. And they drew Bargain Bernie on there. It's so great. Um, look what else they threw in here. Maybe cover up some of the... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might not want to... It's a wedding <laughs> invitation. An, a wedding invitation yeah. to their wedding. Yeah. Caitlin um, and... Is it Johnny? Con yeah, Caitlin and Johnny. In advance. Yes. We, we can't make it, unfortunately. No, we have a, we have a show a that we crummy can. college show that day. Yeah. But we will send you something not off your registry. No. Maybe it'll no. be a photo of like some guy in a Statue of Liberty hat giving the finger. Who yeah. knows what it'll be, <laughs> but it'll be a bullshit prize. You never know. But the good news is we have not thrown away any of these envelopes. They're so beautiful. We're going to keep them. We're going to put them in some other fitting sort of hopper <laughs> yeah because because well, we raffled off our hopper yeah so, so we that was a little short-sighted but uh then in future weeks we'll give shit I think away we gotta order another hopper and let's just get a bigger one this yeah time. and we'll give away maybe we'll give away something today we'll see how it goes but uh yep. any in any case they will not go away so thank you for entering the sweepstakes we have an update on uh, the guy remember we told you about the guy a couple weeks ago who it was like a make-a-wish thing he sent us this long letter and even his girlfriend emailed us too saying that this guy, he said that his dream vacation would be to spend three days in our office just watching videos. And uh, at first we were like, eh, I don't know. I mean, it could be a right. weirdo. But then the more we thought about it, I was like, it sounds like, you know, this guy really wants to do it. His girlfriend's Andy, even emailing us. I think what tipped us over the edge is he's a social worker. Yeah. And so we're like, okay, how bad of a dude? He, he's yeah, deserving he's a nice guy in emails yeah. and stuff. Yeah, he checks out. His name's Roomsy. Rumsey. Uh, is he it Rumsey? He pronounces it Rumsey. Okay, yeah. it's Rumsey, and he's going to be here September seventh through the ninth. And I don't know. We're going to figure out some sort of live streaming thing for him. Yeah, he I, has a live streaming he'll, he'll thing. He'll figure I don't it know. out. But, but he, I, I, we we could actually watch this guy go insane right before our very eyes. Oh, uh, I think there's it's no question. I mean, we've built up a pretty high tolerance, but he's coming in first time. I hope he, might be able to take your place at the wedding. he. Oh yeah, maybe Rumsey could go to the wedding. That that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that same weekend, Caitlin isn't and it? Johnny, great yeah. news. <laughs> We're sending Rumsey. <laughs> uh, so, but no, yeah, but... We'll see how... Go this could be I, a disaster. In I fact, I'm to, guessing it will be a disaster. I but want to pick out the videos for him, though. I don't know if oh, he like wants to... like an it. extra cruel overlord? That yeah, I mean, he okay. paid for his own flight out here, yeah. and I guess he's sleeping in here. Oh, we like, got rid of the couch, too. Yeah. We got rid of the couch. Yeah. He has nowhere to sleep. Get ready for a three-day Joe's Tedium Corner. So, oh, boy. Yeah. I'm going to bring out that cash register <laughs> video so fast. Um, uh, well, uh, what else we got? Because it's a puppet episode, um, I just quickly wanted to show you that um, we were doing a show in South Carolina, and uh, there was a college show, and a guy came up, uh, this guy Sam came up afterwards, and he said, hey, do you get into creepy puppets? Apropos of nothing. And I was like, yes, I do. And he pulls out of a, uh, actually like a garbage bag, this. This puppet <laughs> of me, oh, there's some like stuff in here. This puppet of me 
And uh, that's I, a very creepy puppet with the is. red beard. And, and the... I was wearing a shirt just like this and a, and a newsy cap like this. It was. It Were was... you worried that he was like a stalker yes. or like dangerous I or something? I still am a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But this amount of dedication I was appreciative of. And then he handed me another one. He goes, yeah. uh, here's Joe. Check it out. So it's me. Let's put him up close. Yeah, so we you actually have. Look at, that's my beard. I wear that shirt, actually. You're also covered in cat hair. <laughs> so <laughs> I am actually. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, we actually it. have our own puppets that we haven't done yeah. anything with. They were on no, the they're... cover of our uh, Volume Eight Satan DVD. Yeah, so. no, they're just on display here. We should we should work on them. Maybe yeah. today we'll work on them a little bit. Um, but uh, I think we've all had a long fascination with puppets, and we found a lot of VHS tapes. We have a whole section called Ventriloquism and Puppets, and it's a it's an ever growing section. Well, also the kids' videos, like I would say, ninety percent of kids' videos at least at some point has a puppet in it. Yeah. Same with religious videos. Religious videos always have shitloads of puppets. Yeah, and my theory is always like if they're they're trying to teach you about whatever the blood of Christ or something, they, they should, it's a little spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down kind of thing. Yeah. So here's a here's a fun puppet, and yeah. let's shoehorn our message in with that. Right. It's like the entry point. And so that's why we were thrilled, uh, I guess it was about a month ago, when we got an email from somebody who was a professional puppeteer. Yes, yes. His name's Ryan Dillon, and he, uh, yeah, he just emailed us out of the blue and said, I'm a puppeteer, I also make puppets, would you like a tour of, of uh, what was it called? Uh, the Sesame Jim Street, Henson. the Jim Henson. Uh, it's where they make wherever. the Sesame Street puppets. The, the Henson Workshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we're like, yes, of course. So we went down two weeks ago, and it was incredible. Look at some of these photos that we brought back. Uh, this he he let us take a look at the eye drawer. Yes, that's this the is drawer. Just, just Muppet of, eyes. Just Muppet eyes. And then look at this. This is the nose and ear drawer here. Look at that. And uh, then, and my then favorite of course, drawer was the mustache yeah, drawer. Yeah, this is this I, is the last one here, the mustache drawer. Look at that. They have a mustache drawer yeah. there. <laughs> and uh, it turns out Ryan collects videos. He has some puppet videos and non-puppet videos and is really into the same sort of weird stuff we are. So uh, we invited to come on the show today and watch some puppet videos with us. So uh, let's bring in Ryan Here Dillon. comes Ryan. Hi. Hello. Hi, Ryan. Here. Yes. Thank you for awesome. coming in. Hey, thank thanks for, for that tour. Me. That tour was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It exceeded my expectations. Oh, did it, it really? was just kind of, oh. Well, I mean, there was a lot of nostalgia, but it was yes. also like, but like also it was just awesome. Just yeah. To see. It's like Santa's workshop, I always yes. say, because there's people working hard on these beautiful objects that are, it's just a really cool place. So yeah. I'm glad you guys got The to amount go. of care and detail that goes in. And one thing yeah. I always think about the puppet videos we watch and what, what I respond to is there's a lot of ways for puppet to go wrong, yeah. and really only maybe one or two ways for it to go right. Yeah, as far as like yeah, the yeah. world of puppeteering, I mm -hmm. feel like it's a low batting average for it to be a good puppet. You that's know what a, I mean? That's very interesting. Yeah. You think so? Mm -hmm. I mean, just, yes. I, I'm just basing it just. On well, you know what's our... interesting? It's because it's like you have so many things to focus on because we're watching a monitor, so we're seeing our performance. You have to all technical stuff. You have to kind of forget it. Yeah. You have to be so good yeah. at it that you're not thinking about it. Right. And you can just think about composing the frame and doing the performance and stuff. It's a lot of I think you juggling. described it as like a weatherman, how a weatherman has to w it look at the screen. It totally to is, because we don't w work with like a selfie <clears throat> camera. Um, when you're seeing a shot on a camera, it's the reverse of a right. selfie mirrored. So, so you're right. seeing a true image. Okay. It's just like a weatherman. If he's saying it's 30 in Topeka or whatever, he can he has to look at a monitor to see where he's pointing, and that right. takes a lot of so not only is there like a technical aspect to it, but you also have to be witty and you yeah, have to be you have improvising to be and you have and to be a performer. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a lot of stuff to balance. It's but yeah. it's fun. what about like the puppets themselves? Like so many times we see these crummy looking, terrifying yeah. looking puppets. Yes. Like why is why is that so difficult? What do people get wrong? Do you about know what that? my theory? I always there's an uncanny canny valley thing that goes on with puppets. Personally, I feel like if they get too human looking, or if you try and get them. <laughs> oh, yes. speaking of that, we have we have some human looking yeah, puppets coming up I later. I was hoping so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Though. But there is a lot of you know I we like in my work with me and my creative partner Mark, we have a thing called the Dylan Gill Idiots, and it's just these dumb videos. We used to do live oh, streams. It's super funny. I watched oh, some of it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we try and go really abstract because and, and you know cartoony. 
me to go away from that. And that tends to be a better result. Otherwise, you have a creepy, or like if they're made out of latex sometimes, you're just sort of like, ooh, yeah. it's a little too close to. <laughs> what do you think about the puppets that that guy made? I, they're incredible. Yeah. Isn't that good? I, that's impressive. Yeah. I was impressed by the shoes. He yeah. built, he made shoes. Yeah, let's 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 see. You, can see oh, you should be shoes. very proud of yourself. Who is yeah. this guy? His, his name's Sam VC. At Sam VC. Well, media, my yeah. favorite thing is, are you into what did he, what did he say? Are you into creepy? Are puppets? you into creepy puppets? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> like a pickup line or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, God. And can we tell people that what your main puppet yeah, is? Yeah, so my main job is I work at Sesame Street as a puppeteer. I play Elmo there, and I do. This is Elmo. Yeah, work he plays Elmo. Elmo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I do lots of, you know, we kind of all do everything. Chickens, yeah. penguins, monsters, birds, anything. But that's, that We need you to play busy. broccoli. It, to, to I have it's... played many broccolis. <laughs> I really have. Wow. I just did a broccoli. Oh my God. Well, so, it, I yeah. mean, but you're the only Elmo. There's only yeah. one Elmo. There's not like 16 yeah, different Elmos. So, There's only one Elmo. And that's very important for the Muppets because we always try and make sure that if, if, it is, if you're seeing Cookie Monster, it is the one guy that plays Cookie Monster. Right. Because then it starts to get diluted and you don't really get that true character. Exactly. So it has to come from the performer. Right, and everything. And the voice yeah. and the mm -hmm. mannerisms and totally. all that kind of stuff. Totally, totally. Um, let's, we want to show you some videos. I can't wait. Yeah. Wait a minute, before we start, this yeah. kid, I, I want to talk oh. about this kid. <laughs> because this kid is me. I was this child. What's oh, his really? name? This kid is, this this kid is, is Mark everybody. Huntsman. Mark Huntsman. One kid's opinion. You are fantastic. <laughs> I have an exact video of this, but I, I'm so jealous, because this is the Disney kid, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, I have this video of myself, but I'm not in a control room with the studio. I'm, I'm pissed at your quality. This is incredible. <laughs> it's a home movie, and my sister and I decided to do a show, and all I did was talk about the Disney trip that we had just gone on, no and it is excruciating. Whoa. And Look I start bringing up. out books. I will send it to you. I start oh. bringing out all these Muppet books that I'm assuming everyone will find fascinating, the audience, the no one. It is... <laughs> it, I am impressed with your quality of work. Wow. Holy, wow. Well, you know, we've all got some VHS skeletons in our closet. And, yes. uh, oh, yeah, we yeah. all do. We yeah. all have some. Yeah, but you, you still have that tape, <laughs> I huh? still have it. Hook Amazing. us up. I Send will. it to us. We'll give it a good home. It's, it's an event. Um, <laughs> um, all right. All right. So Nick, I think you should start. Should I start? Yeah. Okay. So um, this is a video. Oh, you know what? I, I want to talk briefly about ventriloquism. Yeah. Which I guess is a an, it's an offshoot of puppetry. It's like a subsection. Like, I don't, a lot of... People who do TV puppetry don't tend to do ventriloquism. I've never tried, right? Because um, it's very much a different sort of beast. And are are there people who do both? You said, Some, but yeah. it's really rare, though. Yeah, it's really rare. Well, we of uh, like I was in Atlantic City, New Jersey, you know, seven or eight years ago, and on top of a, a Goodwill VHS section were like a dozen different <sighs> ventriloquism how-to videos. I wanted to be a ventriloquist. I had a Lester doll. You, did, a you had a Lester doll? And a, and a record to learn how to do it. Did you really? Yeah. And I would do... Did you learn how to do it? Yeah, I want, you to, hear, I want to hear you say basketball. <laughs> <clears throat> basketball. No, not I, bad. I'm not projecting. It's better than I can do it. But it's, you it's, always have that ventriloquist voice. Yeah. And, basketball. Yeah. There's always one voice. And B's or D's. I remember yes. all this from the basketball. videos. Basketball. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I was just like, it was a fascinating story to me. Like, yeah. oh my God, is this, does somebody have a dream of becoming a big ventriloquist and then just dash their hopes? Or, oh God, yeah. That maybe, been it. And, or, or maybe they became Were they success. really maybe successful? Maybe it was Jeff like, Dunham and he's like, anymore. I don't need him anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> anyway, we cut this together for, uh, what volume of the show is this? Four? Uh, volume two, three? Volume three, I think. I think. Three. Yeah, so which yeah. is on our, our DVD. So we're calling this our Found Footage Festival classic for today. Here's Ventriloquism Montage, a bunch of different videos. The star of this here video. My jolly, adorable uncle, that great ventriloquist, Mr. Paul Winchell. Boy, what an introduction. Everybody loves to laugh. He's like a legend, though. In he the created the artificial Everybody heart, that guy. No. I swear to you. His name is, I can't remember his name right now, but he Paul also Winchell. played Tigger. Paul, Paul Winchell. Winchell. Yeah. Yeah. Created created Not everything that I do heart. is necessarily yeah. having a puppet come up and preach a sermon, uh, even though that's my goal. There's a lot of things that I do just to be funny. If this isn't the zoo, how come there's so many monkeys out there? Herman, now wait a minute. These people are not monkeys. I want you to tell them you're sorry. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you look like monkeys. No. Oh. His, his mouth's still moving, though. To oh, yeah. 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 Where I place my tongue. I actually artificial heart. put <laughs> the tip kidding. of my tongue. I'm not kidding you. I thought it would be the artificial right tongue. Yeah, right? <laughs> right that, yeah, this is the patent. Basketball. Organ transplant. Oh, Daskadol. This guy looks like Chris Mullen. Daskadol. Daskadol. 
basketball. They all tell you. Oh, that's incredible. Baseball. Put your arm through the hole at the oh. bottom of the puppet and slide your hand so all depressing. the way up into the puppet's head. Place your four the fingers this over the This is my favorite shot of all time. <laughs> that, I think we about it you, at, once a week, I think about it. We remember you telling us about that. Your fingers to go. <laughs> we, we put this in it's here for you. Thank you. It's inside his body cavity. With special costuming, this puppet can appear in church as Farmer Joe one week and as Moses the next week. Wow. Why don't I think that was just a hat change. A little That's boy. all it was. That's all it takes. <laughs> I think okay. That's another one that looks too my much like a human. Cindy. Yeah, the eyes are scary. Hi, my name is Sally. Hi, I'm Rosie. Do it. Hi. Great audience. I'm Rosie. <laughs> Boy. My mom. They're in a church says basement. I can have spaghetti. How do you do? I like to introduce myself. My name is Chandu, and I come from Africa. It was, a, it was a different time. Yeah, uh, okay. It was a different so, okay. time. <laughs> Robbie, I'm going to punch your lights out. Duh. Oh. Duh. Everybody. Duh. 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 <laughs> My name is Jimmy. Duh. I don't know. That guy's not having <laughs> no. it. My name is Johnny. Chris Mullen. And I like to kiss <laughs> girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put sickness on this kid. You're going to put sickness on this kid? Oh, wow. I do the Bugs Bunny thing. I go, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I guess that's yeah. a thing too. The, to make the voice. Yeah. It's, yeah. My name is Robbie. Yeah. 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 Remember, nothing comes easy, especially learning to be a ventriloquist. So practice and have fun. And don't be afraid to use this video again and again to refresh your skills. Praise the Lord. I love to watch those young people ministering with the puppets. Everybody loves to Oh, wow. Laugh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes to have a good time. <laughs> hey, that's I love the everybody likes to laugh. Everybody, everybody likes to laugh. Everybody, everybody likes, likes to have, to have a good time. time. Oh, yeah. So good. Um, I want to talk to you about oh. voices. Like, yeah. I feel like I feel like most of the ones that you're going to see here, everybody does the high-pitched voice. Like, hey, how's it going? Hi, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody does that as soon as they put a puppet on. I don't know why. <laughs> why? Yeah. They're well, the most uncomfortable sound for your voice ever. Yeah, it really is. It's not yeah. sustainable. It's yeah. not sustainable. It's the voice I do for my cats, though, whenever yeah. I'm holding on to my cats. I'm like, hey, how's it going? I'm a cat. Yeah, no, that's a, good. Yeah, yeah. You're it's just, practically a puppeteer. You puppeteer your cats. <laughs> I'm almost there. But what is the Basketball. secret, though, for like coming up with an original voice? Like, obviously, with Elmo, you had to emulate a yeah, voice so that was it's, already it's done. Yeah, so it's harder when you're taking over for a character because yeah. you have to be as specific as possible, and it's never quite. You know, you hear them back to back, and they're not quite the same. But um, I, I kind of like, you know, I always, I was always doing voices and impressions of people, and I. I so for some people, it's less about the voice, though. They kind of like Frank Oz will tell you that he's not a voice guy, but he does all these incredible voices. He only focuses on the character, and whatever comes out comes out. Oh, you know? really? oh he, interesting. He never goes in. A lot of us like, and I kind of with my characters, I never go in thinking I'm gonna do this sound. You know, you kind of look at the puppet and see what it tells you. If it's got like a big mouth, it's, is it gonna use that mouth? If it's got a tiny little. Right. If so, it's a monster, it's going to be gravelly, right? Or you go the other way. Oh, yeah. You okay. know, because it's always oh, that like, thing of like, oh, well, right. they're expecting the monster, and so. Oh, maybe he's, Play a, against maybe, type. Maybe he's a high pitched monster. Right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. All right. We're going to watch the magic secret video. Uh, with magician Dan, oh my God, wait, with, wow. with magician Dan Witkowski, who could really benefit from a pseudonym. Um, <laughs> are you familiar? No. Okay, this is a. But I'm familiar with breakfast cereals. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm put out. Excited about. It's put out by General Mills. And as a promotional video. Yeah, as a promotional video. I think it probably cost 25 proofs of purchase or something wow, like yeah, that. Yeah. It was not in the cereal box. There's a lot. No, it wasn't. But it, there was a lot of plugs for General Mills in here. Sure. And all the characters here. Here, I'm going to show you. I want to show you so much in here. But I'm going to show you just the beginning. Um, oh, my God. That's exciting. Have you ever wondered what it looked like, what the Trix Rabbit looked like in puppet form? Yeah. Yeah. We all have. We're going to see it right here. Magic Secrets video. There he is. Yep. That's what I thought. Is this the opening? Yeah, this is how it opens. Hey, Rabbit. Who, me? Yeah, you. Can you tell me how to get to the yeah. Mayfair Theater? Sure. It's just down at the end of the street. What's going on there? Oh, I've got a whole truckload of tricks to drop off there. A whole truckload of tricks? Just for me. 
Oh, grapey grape. Lemony lemons. Wow. Orangey orange. Oh boy. How much would you pay? Like for, how much would you pay for that Big trickster? Cereals <laughs> oh, I will buy it. I don't mess with it. The Magic Secrets video. They built that theater. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, There's everybody. high pitch. Welcome to Big G's Magic Secrets video. Wait, so he's going to have well, a great time sense? today learning yeah, about the magic And character. he's not hot. His mouth doesn't. Yeah, not doesn't. Some of them are the, the Honey Nut Cheerios B. He's a okay. costume character. I'll be right down to get the show he's started. He's huge, but uh, Lucky the Leprechaun, he's a he's in puppet form. That's what bullshit. They I, this, that this doesn't need, make any sense. Help. They really needed to edit this a little bit better. Okay, here, here's here's uh, here's your cast. Yeah, that is. Okay. Uh, Dan Witkowski, the magician the who needs a pseudonym so bad. Magician. How about Dan Danny Witkowski? Magic or something yeah, like that? Dan, Dan Witty. Yeah, Dan Witty. Characters. Count Chocula. Oh. Uh -huh. Frankenberry. Oh, he doesn't have any eyes. The Honey Nut Bee. <laughs> Sunny the Cuckoo Bird. Lucky the Leprechaun. Huh. The Smorcerer. The <laughs> who? <laughs> Who's heard the of the Smorcerer? Smorcerer? That silly rabbit. Short-lived General Mills character, the Smorcerer. Built a Smorcerer puppet. I know. <laughs> I know. They, it was commissioned. Yeah, exactly. I was debating whether to show you the intro to this or the Smorcerer scene. The Smorcerer actually has a pretty decent scene because this is a magic video and he's a Smorcerer. So oh, he can do yeah. the magic tricks. Yeah. I'm sad to see it go. I mean, I could watch that entire thing. That's incredible. <laughs> Have you, Nick? I know you were a big cereal guy growing up. Did you Still ever try am. Smorcerers? Uh, they're, they're called? Just called, it's just called s'mores. And oh, yes. it's just called s'mores? Oh, yeah. oh, so it was s'mores It was golden grams dusted with chocolate with little uh, marshmallows in it. Oh. So wow. what's not to Do you remember the like? s'morcerer? No, I, but I remember the cereal. I would okay. get that cereal a lot. Um, I was about 40 pounds overweight when I was a kid, <laughs> and I think a lot of it had to do with the uh, s'mores cereals. Okay. Just, yeah, thanks, s'morcerer. I blame thanks the s'morcerer, yeah. Um, well, we wanted to talk... Um, I know Sesame Street has a lot of foreign versions, or yeah. like you'll see the Russian, the Russians answer to Sesame Street, and you're yeah. like, that doesn't look quite right, at least with yeah, the yeah. old 80s one. We have yeah. the Israeli version of Sesame Street over here, Do too. Really? It's, yeah, it's really weird to see Ernie speak in, in Hebrew. Hebrew. Yes. Yeah. And it's funny, because, yeah, for a while, it, it wasn't Henson building those puppets. I don't know who, maybe it was Kermit Love or somebody, but they didn't quite look of that Sesame world until... I don't right. know, maybe 20 years ago or Exactly. So. I remember you showed us some, some foreign market yeah, puppets. Yeah, yeah. And they look on brand. Of that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, this is for um, a show that we've ascertained as a children's show from Israel. Okay. It's in Hebrew. And it's got um, this attractive young host. And then they throw to two Uncanny Valley puppets. Yes. I mean, they look, the, 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 they look like Chernobyl victims, don't they? It's, like, it's, oh, uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, like, th this is what we were talking about with the human, like looking too human. Yes, oh, yeah. that's and exactly what I mean. comes with a picture. This woman, Grace Muller, sent us this, by the way. And it uh, comes with a, like a, almost like a... Like a what three by five photo of the host of the video. But that's a photo. Yeah. That's yeah. an actual photo. It's an actual photo. This came with the video. Um, and uh, I just want to show you a scene of the two uh, characters who are like, I believe, radio hosts. And, and also, don't you open that up on the different side? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It's you wrong... open it up backwards. Like yeah. That. Is that yeah. traditionally how those no. tapes are? No. Oh, wow. The hands. Are... I was just going to say, it's the hands, really. Yeah. They're enormous. They're really big. And there's a real hand inside that fake real hand. Right. So that's creepy, too. Yeah, they could have just gone Swedish chef style Swedish chef. and had human hands. There's something about the hair, too, that's a little bit creepy. Oh, is that the one whose picture was in the yep. VHS? That's the host. You have a photo of her. You want yeah, a photo yeah, of yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. So I... Somebody told me this was like a satirical show. Oh, really? But oh, so it's a parody of a kid's I show. I think so, but I don't know because I don't speak Oh, it's like a Wonder Shows-in kind of a thing? I, or well, like if a... it was, it was like, I don't know. It sounded more like not necessarily the news It's very or subtly but... adult then. Yeah. I mean, it must be all in the lyrics. Yeah, I guess, because it's all kids and this kind of stuff. And then these horrifying oh, it's endless, uh, yeah. puppets come up in between, and they're sort of like the interstitial uh, things. They sing, too. Oh, they were making out, I think, just now. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that what they were serious? Yeah, yeah, it sure did look like it. Because I can't imagine that they would sign this Make off on that kids. for a kid's show, no. Yeah, it kids does. would be scared shitless. Oh, you know what? It, it's like spitting image. Yeah. Um, you remember that? Oh, right. They did the Genesis video. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 
behind the scenes. But either way, these aren't easy on the eyes. No. no. A Ronald Reagan puppet is supposed to look grotesque, but it's just a lot of skin. So what are they doing there? Is, are there two people controlling one? Yeah, so there's one? a puppet you're doing the head and another puppet you're doing the hand. Oh, okay. Wow, it must get crowded down there. It does. It does get crowded. Are there smells? Like, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. I won't go into the, I always you the odor. You asked the hard-hitting questions here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we've missed a plot point. Oh, yeah. If anyone speaks Hebrew and knows more about the show, please comment. Oh, please let us know. Uh, let us know yeah. Yeah, I'd like to know more. I think okay. for the sake of comedy, let's just say that it's a children's show. Okay, it's yeah. a children's yeah. show. Yeah. Um, and that's uh, not Anna Bin Wap, but it's whatever. I can't even pronounce this phonetically, but that's that one. Um, all right, I got two quick hitters. All, all right. right. This one I just want to show you. Um, it's pretty unremarkable. It's a little house all about the alphabet. I'll just show it here. I remember quickly. that logo because they did the oh, high um, tops video. I the, as soon as I came in here, I was overwhelmed because I had missed being in a video rental. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it was really like comforting to come in here and things like this. I associate that that high tops. They did yes. the Pee Wee's videos. Yes. yes, exactly. Yep, um, I recognize that too. We find a lot of. High time, uh, what is it? High tops and good times. Good times. I was going to say high times. Those are, yeah, like no, the supermarket is... videos. Yeah. I just wanted to show this video. Because, I'm already happy. Because the puppet looks like Ed Begley Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? It yes. does. Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly. Different letters of the alphabet. Oh, it really Six does. Six letters of the alphabet. His voice doesn't. Yeah. 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 There's a, scene, there's a Philip Seymour Hoffman I already too. know lots of yeah. letters. Wow. Isn't it look exactly Tommy. like yes. Yes. Exactly. All right. That's all I wanted to say from that one. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> great. Great. The rest of the video is pretty unwatchable. Um, the other great. one is another quick hit. This one was a. This one is a. Uh, there's puppets involved in it. It's called uh, Circle Squ Circle Square. It's a religious okay. show, and they have puppets and, and kids in there. And this specific episode is all about swearing oh. and, and how you shouldn't do it. And they didn't take a pro swearing. No, stance. it was yeah, not pro that swearing. Seems yeah, counterintuitive. Um, but what I'm going to show you is not a is not a puppet scene. Okay, it's a, it's the opening to Circle Square. I was just watching. I was like, this is a genius. I love a good old opening. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's and a good theme so, song. And yes. you know where they where it's the kind of opening where they show everything that you're about to see just for a quick mm -hmm. hit. Mm -hmm. But they show one in, one thing in here that you don't see in the entire video. But it's genius that okay. they included it. All right. Because it makes you want to keep watching. And I kept on oh, watching to look for the scene. All right. <laughs> so. It's coming up. Oh. Here, we go. Here it comes. I'm so excited. A kid brushing a horse's wow. teeth. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That was the scene. But you never... Oh, I saw some puppets right after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's puppets that in there. That logo's great. But they chose yeah. to show a boy dressed up Directly in a after their logo. <laughs> brushing the teeth of Sundays a horse. Sundays on... <laughs> yeah. And that there's scene's... A puppet. That yeah, scene's a never puppet. in it. There's a scene of him riding the horse. You'd think they, they might have shown... Yeah, let's watch it again. Let's yeah. just make sure we saw it. Yeah. Look at it. Yep. We saw it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The, you, you good? I'm good. Yeah, okay. I saw it. Right. I definitely was a guy. I would on. watch that show. Yeah, I would absolutely uh, watch that show. It, well, here's the thing: it's religious and Canadian, so it's it's oh, even yeah, yeah, it's okay. even weirder it's a than you're going to think. Little bit off in a lot of yes. ways. Well, yeah. sometimes whenever something's off, you're like, oh, it's religious, and then if it's not religious, you're like, oh, it's, it's Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, yeah. This they, one's both, <laughs> and that's why it started off with a kid dressed up as a cowboy brushing, brushing a horse's, horse's teeth. teeth. I noticed on the bag it said it's from Toronto. We've got shows this Friday and Saturday in Toronto. We should ask people if they've heard of uh, Circle Square. You're oh, going to get Circle Square stuff now. Yeah. I thought you were going to say, uh, ask them if they know about brushing horse's teeth. Or well, that kid. That's, Find yeah. that that's kid. That's the follow-up question. Oh, you have heard of it. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Tremendous. And then maybe I'll show one more, and then maybe we can get... Um, Kip out here, yeah. who's the star of your web series. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Joe? Is yeah, that... I don't think I have anything that's too pressing here. Yeah, I, I can, yeah. Right? Let's okay. do that one. What else do you... I've got this and then a couple more. Yeah, one more after this. Okay. All right. So Look this at that is, in the blister this pack. This is a blister pack. Very hard to open. I cut my... Uh, I actually bled while opening I, this. Yeah, well, Today? I was uh, worth it. No, when we first oh. opened it a couple weeks ago. And this is a... <laughs> it comes with a bonus watch. Um, that uh, this is all about how to tell time. Right. So teaching wow. kids how to tell time, and there are many puppets in here. There's a little rabbit. Um, there is a uh, the main dog. Uh, What's his name? 
I wish Watch it was Main Dog. Watch, Watch Dog. Yeah. Okay. And then there's just a clown with a clock face on his stomach. Oh, good. Uh, without any explanation. Watches was a thing in the, that was a promo, you would get a free watch. I remember they really, when I was a kid, they re-released the Muppet movie, and the incentive to buy it was, you get a free watch. Oh. They must I, have been so cheap to produce. That's what it yeah. was, but I'm like, I don't want to watch. That's yeah. not helping. Yeah. Well, you might want this to throw it out. Man. I don't know if you can see that. Well, this is a different yeah. story. <laughs> that's a so, pretty great watch. This is a 25 minute educational video that teaches kids how to tell time through puppetry. And the song at the end, I, I was just playing this to watch it, and then Joe kind of popped his head around from his desk and was like, this song is legitimately good. I genuinely like this song. And really? kept yeah. playing this finale song I, the, w- There's no windows in the tape. No, no. it's a little bit disorienting. Yeah. It's like, peekaboo, nope, you don't get to see. And it's the clown in this scary. video, too, he's not, he doesn't do anything. No, he, he never talks. There, he never talks, yeah. he just kind of moves his shoulders a little bit. So this is called TikTok <laughs> okay. with the Watchdog and all of his friends. Yeah, we never shown this one on the show. Ah, oh. and the more times you play it, the easier you will learn. This is a genuinely oh, good song. Second nature to you to tell the time. And there's to a monster. With this, oh, oh, there's the there's a brown monster. monster. See you when you play this program again. Don't forget to use your color. It's a long it. intro. Which is on the inside of the package. And color us any way that you want. I do like his Take voice though. It's time. scary to me. It's kind of a kind of a. Tom Waits, maybe? <laughs> yeah. A cassette so you can play this program. No, that's Tom Waits. He's getting whisperier. Yeah. He goes on. He's tired. Find the information. It sounds like a creep, though. Yeah, it does. What are you wearing? Come on, kids. Really the clown doesn't really want to be there. No. No, he doesn't have to be there. <laughs> that's true. He doesn't have to be there. <laughs> He's thinking He's about got a brown monster, a take rabbit, and a this. Talk about time. I've learned to tell the time, and I'm just It's gonna be stuck in your head oh, for the rest yeah. of the day. I, okay. night. It's not a bad thing. Isn't it? No. Tick tock, tick tock, all about time. Oh, look at his pants. And look at those. Oh, yeah, they're sparkly. Oh, he's doing like an MJ kind of. He's got a white glove. Doesn't the clown kind of look like Drew Carey a little bit? Take a look. Let's see. Okay, okay. Tick tock. Oh, he does, kind of. Kind of a smile. Yeah, a little bit of a their voice, their background voices are kind of, it kind of sounds like a resident song or maybe, <laughs> maybe Ween. It's like Gene, a, yeah. it's a total Let's Ween talk song. all about time and now that we can do it, we're all feeling fine. I think they Bye-bye. rhyme time with time Bye-bye. a lot here. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, See you later. Uh, See you some time soon. Hey, Talk. Tick tock. Let's talk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> Credits. Wrap it up, watch dog. Okay. Alright. We haven't learned yeah, we haven't learned about time. <laughs> no, we didn't learn thing about time. Genuinely wow. good song. Oh here we go. Okay, yeah. And a free watch with that. And you get too. a free watch. Yeah. There's uh, there's incentive. Let's uh let's raffle off the uh the watch. Eh? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a good watch. It is a very good watch. Does it still work? It doesn't work. Okay. No, but maybe with the new battery. Yeah. Well, should we wrap it off now or yeah, do it let's later? Wrap it off now. Okay. Uh, grab um, a stack and then uh, offer it to Ryan to pick out one. Okay. Okay. Close your eyes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, maybe, okay. no, you can look. You can look. Yeah, you just grab whatever one. the pressure. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm going with this. What is this? Okay, I'm going with this. Yeah, okay. There you go. What is it? It's, uh, it's like a. It's like zombie a zombie. Guy. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. What, who, and this is uh, who is this? Rachel Glade. Yeah. Congratulations, Rachel. Glade. Rachel, you want to watch? Let's, let's hold up the zombie again, and you've won yourself TikTok's watch. Uh, hey. Congratulations. So keep sending in those postcards. This is worth something. This right? is the sweepstakes that never ends. It's so. probably the last one on Earth. The other ones are probably all in that's the landfill. That's fair. Right? That's fair. Yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty good. We're keeping the tape though. Congratulations. Oh, she only gets the watch. <laughs> yeah. No, no but you, you don't get the blister either. This is priceless. No. Um, how did you become Elmo? Yeah. So I had already been working at Sesame Street. Um, I started when I was seventeen. Uh, you started out of high at Sesame Street when you were seventeen. Yeah, wow. I started out of high school. And but you, um, you loved puppets from like day one. It was right? my thing. Okay. It was like I wanted to work for the. I either wanted to work for the Muppets or be an animator for Disney. And I have ADD, so I couldn't do animation. It just took too long. Yeah. And um, so yeah, I knew I wanted to be a puppeteer, so I had made my own puppets and taught myself at home. And there was a big uh, cattle call 
in 2005. And uh, I was still in high school. And uh, the guy who uh, played Elmo before me actually was there, and he was scouting for Sesame Street. And um, he said, "Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna come in." And it was like a, it was like 500 people, and they kept whittling it down and down and down. Crazy. And it was nuts. It was terrifying. And out of that, I got to do like the Macy's Parade because there's like a Sesame Float every year. I did that. I did Ernie for that my first year, and then uh, started working on the show. Come true. It was nuts. I mean, oh, it was it? it was it was crazy. I mean, it was oh, surreal. Yeah. It was a, it was. It was a it was a total dream come true. Yeah. Um. And then so yeah, so I started working on the show, and then I was just sort of like a day player there. I would do like so those puppets that had those hands. When you start out, you do the right hand of a puppet because like Cookie Monster, the the main performer is in the head. Yeah. And the left hand, but he needs another hand, so you would go in and do that hand. And, you and then the right hand. And then you learn like the rhythms of the performers. You learn about like comedy timing and stuff, and just physically how to do it. Um. And so I did that for a long time and background characters. Um, so then when the time came to look for Elmo, I was uh, sort of like on a short list of people that they wanted to see. And um, it just kind of happened. And um, it's been great. I mean, I've gotten to do some really cool stuff. Sweet. Met the Obamas a bunch of times. I mean, it's surreal. It's really? just wow. surreal. You get yeah. to meet the Obamas? I got really? met, wow. I met wow. Mr. and Mrs. Obama. I met Mrs. Obama about like three times. Yeah. You've and, probably been uh, on a lot of late night shows too, yeah. right? Because yeah, we've done Fallon a lot. We've done all those shows, Jimmy yeah. Kimmel, and those are my favorite because yeah. you can just sort of be fun and crazy and right. And are loose. you improvising the whole time? Or is there a script? Yeah, or is for the there... most part, like okay. we'll. Uh, it depends on the show, but almost always, if like we're at a desk, um, we may have a couple of things that we have to hit certain points. You know, obviously for uh, to if we're plugging something or um, if we want to get like a so for our show for Sesame we always want to try and get like an educational message across right. so sometimes we'll put that in somewhere and we'll find like a natural way to put it into the conversation but otherwise nice. it's yeah it's all improv awesome. this oh. show is 100% scripted yeah. so it's uh, must be. I got, yeah. I got my script single. yesterday yeah yeah, yeah. So sorry I'm to get it to you so yet. late I'm okay. not off book um, well uh, we want to watch another video and then maybe at that point we'll ask uh, Kip the uh, puppet Kip to come in puppet. and join us you want to watch another one don't you have more? I do have more, yeah. I thought, but you, I was want, thinking, I thought you wanted to wrap it up. No, I was thinking Kip could watch the, the video with us. Oh, I thought we were going to do slideshow with Kip. I think we'll do, watch videos with okay. him, too, yeah. Okay. So let's introduce that video, and uh, and then in, we'll put it full screen, and Kip will be here when we come back. We'll go collect him. Okay. All yeah, right. we'll collect Kip. <laughs> Kip, what's the last name? Baffle. Kip Baffle, and he's part of your Dylan Gale Idiots, which Dylan you can Gale find Idiots on Facebook. On Facebook, right. Okay. And Instagram. I'm a little bit nervous to interact with the puppet. I don't know. Like, do you look into their you eyes? Be. Do you look no, into their well, yeah. eyes when you talk? I mean, it's yeah. Some people have a hard time at first because it's like I'm talking to someone's hand. Right. Mm -hmm. But what tends to happen is either people do it and they they buy into it right away, and then it feels like second nature. Yeah. Or the whole time they're just like I'm talking to a puppet and okay. I don't know what to yeah, do. Yeah. Either way, it'll be entertaining. I can't wait, I can't wait to see how I react. The people to it. in most of our videos aren't very good at interacting with the puppets. <laughs> it, it is. There's a yeah. skill behind it. Yeah. Okay, so this one is uh, Magic Star Traveler. It's a, uh, I think it's, I oh, this. I know oh, about this. You know this Do you one? know about this yeah, one? Yeah, it's a one, classic. Yeah. It's a total classic, and it's a very relaxing show. Like, it's almost like a Mr. Rogers Can type of show. Can you show the back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> back takes a dark turn. <laughs> The a bag is show. a little bit. They're, they're showing hell. <laughs> yeah. They have a photo of hell back here. Better Star Traveler visits hell. <laughs> I just Come love the idea with... of that spaceship. I mean, yeah. it's so, it's it's so. So, but th this guy's really talented. He has two ventriloquists, and he has a oh, full right. conversation. Right. He talks to both of them, and they both talk in different voices, and uh, it's actually very impressive. He, I was doing some uh, Wikipedia yeah. on him today. Jerry Lane, he w learned under Paul Winchell. Uh, the, the inventor, inventor of, the, of the, uh, the artificial, artificial heart. heart. What an Google educational it. show we have today. Yeah, right? he's got a fascinating story. Learning yeah. a lot. Tigger on Wait, the Pooh, too. There should be a documentary on this guy, right? There's a, he's like, oh, I think there's a book. Yeah. yeah, he kind of got forgotten. Yeah, oh, that's wow. too bad. Does he do voices video. for Hanna Barbera? Too? Yeah, he, he did. He did. Oh, he did. What's his name? Dastardly. Yeah, Dastardly mm -hmm. and Mutley. And he did Tigger. Well, th this is one of his students, Jerry Lane. Is it and, really? Yes, yeah, yeah. And this is Magic Star Traveler. It's it's like Mister Rogers like relaxing. And this was a series or a home directed video. This was a uh, a series. Well, we have three volumes of this. I oh, heard that wow, it was a public okay. access show, uh -huh. but it kind of feels like a public access. Oh, show. that oh, again, that font. It's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the intro. I'm going to fast forward it so you can see a little interaction. Yeah, here. okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, wait, yeah wait, I love how it keeps rotating. Yeah, it's on a turntable. I know. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, here we are. We're ready to go. But where are we gonna go today? Okay. Well, guys, today we have a very special trip to go to. On. Yeah, yeah, very special trip because we're gonna do something different. Yeah, oh, there. we're gonna go back. There we go. Oh, five billion years in time. Five billion years. Being magic star travelers and having imagination with us makes it possible for us to do that. And we have our little spaceship, so we can't get hurt or anything. There we're we gonna go. go back five billion years to see how Earth began and how life started on Earth. And then, because we're magic space travelers, there we go. We'll what exposition up front the here? Time yeah. To today. No, wow. but the. Are you ready? Those puppets are very good uh, listeners. Let's hold on to our seat belts. We're going to go through five million years. Five billion years. Yeah, five billion years in only a short time. See, look how good ready? he is. Hold on. Yeah, he's doing both voices doing both voices, and that's, just, I, that's impressive. And you don't even see his mouth. And so here's where... That was, that this is the beginning so of time part. Uh, oh, hi, hey, oh, hi, Kip. Oh, Kip. hi. Uh, I'm just checking to uh, see uh, if I'm... If I look all right. Wow. What are you? <laughs> We're watching a video called Magic Star Traveler. It's wow. a It's a show with Jerry Lane. I love Jerry Lane. Oh, you know about Jerry Lane. Do I know about Jerry Lane? I went to his Christmas party. Oh. Uh, is that pretty wild? Oh, yeah. I had to leave early. <laughs> I'm not uncomfortable. Well, right now it looks like Jerry's going to be swallowed by the sea. Wow, that's... That's an yeah. impressive space. Yeah, so what he does is he and his two friends, they go flying throughout the world, and they show all this, like, footage behind them, and it's very relaxing. They make little wisecracks. Oh, so it's like picture-picture, but... It's kind of like Mr. Yeah. Science Theater, but, but with better. Like boring videos. It's yeah. way better. Is he, are we supposed to be learning something? Yeah, but... It's it's tough to yeah. I could see like like coming back from kindergarten, popping this on, and kind of falling asleep after you eat a grilled cheese. You can see that happening. Yeah, I can see that happening. That's a cho this is a choice you would make. Yeah, I think it'd be kind of nice. Yeah, it is soothing. It's a good way to take advantage of your stock footage. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all I got. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. I mean, that was pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, that was, like that's it. Magic Star Traveler. Yeah. yeah. That was impressive. <laughs> Thank right. you. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in your way. No, no, oh, here. Did you I, well, I can't oh, do can't. anything with it oh, because my fingers don't work. Um, well, I have one more video to show you, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> wow. I think, oh, Just no, pop I, it in. I know what this is. I know what this is. This is um, David Lieba Hart. Are you familiar with him, Kip? I, he was at the party. Oh, yeah. I, I That's why I had to leave. Oh, with Jerry Lane yeah, and Paul yeah. Winchell and the whole, yeah. yeah, yeah. So David Lee Hart, some people might know him because he was later, Tim and Eric found him, and, and he was on their show uh, with puppets. And I guess he does sort of a ventriloquism. But, but uh, uh, we've had his public access show called... Um, what is it called? The Junior Christian Science Bible <laughs> Lesson Show. Wow! <laughs> it's, That's it's impressive. A, it's a yeah. mouthful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a catchy title for a public access show. And so he would have on people to sing religious songs. I'm so excited to show you this one. I'm excited too. Kip, you're going to love this. Okay, I'm going to get this, out of your way so okay, you can put it in that Okay, machine. this features Orangey the Cat and another puppet That's which... That's a great name. Uh, yeah, another Orangey. puppet which I can't really say the name of. But this is David Liebehart's Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. Okay. Oh. <laughs> arms of love, and we're going to let Orangey start the song. I like that guy's hairdo. He's got one strain. <laughs> And look at the Let's seamless start. transition. <laughs> Wait, is, is Orangey's head falling off? Yeah. Kip, I feel like your name could be Orangey. Oh, well, yeah, if I didn't try, my name could have been Orangey. Do you mind if I reach around you? Because I want to rewind. You can do whatever you okay. like. Okay, all right. Watch the transition between okay. now. Uh, you know, Ryan was talking about having to, like, do two things at once, and and let's see how David Lee the Hart pulls this let's off, see. going from his Let puppet us chip this healing to service orange. by singing "Everlasting Arms of Love," and we're gonna let Orangey start the song. Kind of a seamless. <laughs> let's start. Everlasting. I mean, I was listen. Love is I'm impressed with him. He did a great job. <laughs> he starts doing Orangey's voice. What does his stomach like, say? It says. <laughs> I didn't see. What's the thing behind them? I don't know. Too, it just looks I'm, dead. Oh, there's that guy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there's that guy. Who was that guy? Was he was he there guest? to sing a song and play guitar, and he couldn't play guitar very well. He was just doing it. Oh, but he's enjoying himself. He's loving it. It seems like he, fun. 
I think he might be wondering why he's there. Yeah. The other guy, that other puppet's really thinking about something hard. <laughs> he's got a tough life. <laughs> I think Sorry. he's staring at that <laughs> strand of hair in between yeah, his eyes. Yeah. I just like the ending here. Uh, you know, this is a great transition Let out of the song, too. Know that he is God and sh pray that God will give the homeless a home, the uh -huh. jobless a job, and let us know that with God all things are possible. Wait, 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 turn off the tape, turn off the Whoa! Tape. There's, some rustling. There's an evacuation! Some rustling in the back. God in heaven. Our Father, Mother, God, all harmonious. Hallowed be thy name. It just goes into the Our Father, one. then. Uh, just come, we should do that on our show. Whenever so? we, yeah, yeah, whenever we just <laughs> stop yeah. the tape. All right, I'm gonna stop. That the was tape. incredible. Uh, yeah, David Liebehart is uh, one of a kind, and I just I'm reminded of how great he is, and and uh, he's he's the master. He yeah. really is the he master is. of public access of public access puppets. Yeah, he's a yeah. treasure in the in the community. We wanted to show you, Kip, some of our favorite puppets uh, okay. on VHS covers and VHS cover All form, right. and. Uh, I don't know logistically how we can do this. Well, no, we'll figure it out because you're. You can I'll, see. I'll just watch you can it see, later. Right? Okay. Yes, this sir, one I, I want to show you. This one. These, that you these show are. Me. These are all VHS covers with mm -hmm. puppets on the cover. Okay. This one first. One I'm going to show you. Wow. Phonix, right. Wow. Then from the same <laughs> creators, we've got subtraction. Is that a duck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I a duck. So. <laughs> that's a duck. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that yep. was good. All right, I've got Dennis Lee and the Nad and Put Nana Puddin' Bunch talking about love. <laughs> He's got a lot of puppets. I think this particular one is the most unsettling of the puppets, right? Yeah, yeah. Right it's, it's that wig. It's the hair. It's the uncanny valley. Kip, I could see you in that in that crew there. I could see you like behind the L or something. Oh, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I, you know, I. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. You belong with Dennis Lee. Do I? Yeah, I think so. Um, this yeah. one, I want to show you. This is this one's another one that we call unusually specific. Okay. Um, this is a this is called the Eye Patch Kids. The and Eye this, Patch Kids. This is a puppet video for kids who have to get an eye patch. <laughs> okay. It seriously is. Is that what it, I thought? It was just a cute name. No, for their, it's okay. for it's for kids. Well, we should watch this one. Have you seen this one, Kev? Have I seen it? Uh, yeah. No, I haven't seen it. Okay. I, but I would like to see it. You look cool with an eye patch. Yeah, I could take my eyes off. Um, we're gonna watch this one next week. Okay. I'm All right. This is I'll color me in. a color me a rainbow. This is hey kids, it's Jesus. Hey. <laughs> and uh, we always think this looks like like uh, kind of melted Muppets. Kind yeah. of. Yeah, they no, look they're... like they're in the sun for too long. Or yeah, something. left in a hot car. Yeah, yeah they, they were left yeah. in a they hot. They gotta crack a window. That's what you yeah. say if you've got Muppets in there. You just gotta crack a window. <laughs> yeah. This one, Mighty Machines. Now this is a costumed character, but I just love his ankles more than oh, anything. Oh, the ankles. Do you, see, do you see his ankles there? I do. They should have put some paper towels in there or something. Yeah, something to kind of yeah. fill them out a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Yeah. Some paper towels would have been, yeah. been good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all what right. I do when my head is too empty. <laughs> oh, towels. really? Some paper towels? paper towels? Oh. Um, all right, here's yeah. one that uh, it kind of has a reveal to it. So it's, uh, it's called the, uh, what is it called? Little Folks Gospel Productions, Inc. presents Weapons of Warfare. Whoa! <laughs> Weapons, Weapons of, of warfare. warfare, yeah, and uh, it's you know it's basically like a, a woman with a puppet. Have but, you watched it? Uh, yeah, I started watching it today. Is it like Uzis and? Really? No, it's not. It's it's basically like somebody doing a little Sherry Lewis impression. But yeah, it looks so innocent here. Then you look at the old face label and it's yeah. weapons of warfare. Right. But yeah, this is the. Oh, those are the weapons. Of yeah, warfare the, right yeah. There? This lion is one of the weapons. The kids like it, yeah. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like bazookas. I, that's what I thought yeah. too, but no. Uh, maybe late. Maybe it gets to it later. I grenade launchers? Is that like later on? And, maybe later. Okay. They transition from the lion to Big the budget. grenade launchers. Yeah. Big budget green plastic tape. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, pretty good, green right? Plastic. Yeah. Kip, I gotta say, I I was a little bit thrown off at first when right, right when you came on. How I was do you a feel little now? bit thrown off. I feel better about you it do? now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm good. looking you in the eyes, and right, I'm I like, hope I'm looking you in the eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Close enough. Uh, if but, I, I'll just be yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I'm, I could get used to it. Yeah, I could too. Okay. I think that you, he, yeah, you really are very lifelike and very I alive. That. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. You guys are too. Thank you. We we wanted to end with the with a song. Do you mean I'm not gonna get to watch Super Cyber Samurai? 
Oh, Cyber oh. Squad. I was oh. hoping for bunion surgery. <laughs> I'm sorry. You watch VR Troopers. A lot of, a lot. Yeah. No, no. Sorry, I got no. the name wrong. No. It's my favorite no. show. No. Okay, have bunion surgery next week. We promise. We'll okay. do a bunion surgery. All right. For, for and you. We, before you go, though, we can see you on the Dylan Gale Idiots. Yes, uh, we're on uh, in, uh, Instagram, mm-hmm. Dylan Gale Idiots, and Facebook Idiot okay. Club. D i l l o n. G a l e. Okay. And then we can see. Um, Ryan. I really like the show too. Oh, thanks! I, I saw a five-minute clip and I really enjoyed it. It was thanks. very entertaining. We haven't done anything in a really long time, oh, really? but we might be doing more soon. Oh. We, we're, we're working on some stuff. I hope you do. And then Ryan, of course, you can see on Sesame Street, which the new right. season will be in the fall. So if you have, if you want to watch children's television, yeah, yeah. if you want to, if so that's we'll, your thing, we'll leave you with. We're going to leave you with the credits from the Magic Secrets video. Uh, presented by General Mills and the General Mills Gang. <laughs> oh, I hope we get to see the s'morser. Yep. Yeah, me too. You will. All right. Thank you, Kip, for being on the show. Thank you, guys. And thanks, Ryan Dillon, for being here, too. Sure. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. And all of your friends at Big G Cereals, we wish you a magical future. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.